to warm up with somebody. Where's the most luxury date you've been on? Um, they're all for luxury. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. All of them are. Like, most of them are. But that's just... I don't know. You're just going to... I'm just gonna kind of set the standard from the beginning and like tell them like I want you to like you don't tell them no they'll know like when some, when a guy's speaking to you like he'll know like no 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 we don't go with the flow we book a place and then you'll know if a they're trash you get rid of them b they'll, if they're actually decent they'll book a place. And it's really good now because with COVID, they actually have to book a place. So it's more effort. When they see the Insta highlights, they'll know. Yes. So, babe, those are like basically all the dates. Actually, not all of them because some guys are weird about like you taking photos. Have you been on a date to Nobu? I feel like I've been to Nobu too many times. I feel like I've been to Nobu. How many times have I been? Like four times. So... What colour are your toes? Why? COVID, never heard of them. But yeah, like literally, if you're asking about my dates, just look at my Instagram highlights. They're all fine dining. Who was the Lambo you drove? Was that a date? No, no, that wasn't a date. That actually, the one I drove wasn't a date. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um... I think I should really update my highlights now that you guys are making me paranoid. Now I'm getting a bit paranoid because I don't want people like working out what's what. Because I feel like I expose myself sometimes. I make it a bit obvious. But yeah, I definitely do need to update my highlights and get rid of stuff. Anyways. But yeah. And no, it's not even a... Like, I know, like, when you, when I speak to some people, yeah, like, male friends, they'll be like, to me, like, oh, I would never take a girl to a luxurious place, so I would never take her fine dining. And I'm like, that's fine. Do you let them pick you up or do you drive to the date? Baby girl. Baby girl. You always, always let them pick you up. You never, ever, ever drive. Ever. Ever. Like, babe, like, ever. Don't, don't do that trust me don't do that and yeah like i was saying it's not even like what about strict parents well honestly half these guys you think you'll introduce to your parents and then you never do you just like you think and then you realize no so it's like your intentions are good from the beginning um haha i can't let anyone pick me up yeah babe but like you don't have to give me your exact address like you can like, I knew this girl, she would never give her actual address, but then she would go, like, no, actually, I knew this girl, like, she would drive, but then she'd get them to pick her up from somewhere. So, like, she'd drive to meet them somewhere, but then they'd go in her car, they'd go in his car. So, some people do that. I don't know, but it's too much effort. Um, so, do you park somewhere? That no. No. I don't do that. I knew a girl that did that. A lot of girls do that. How do you find guys to talk to? Babe, just post an Instagram story. What do you mean? Girl, look pretty, get dolled up, post a selfie. Trust me, that's the only way. Like, that is literally the only way. You just have to like, ew. The main thing is you basically, like for, I feel bad for guys though, because for guys it's really, really hard. Like they have to be the ones that reach out to girls. But for a girl, all you gotta do is post a photo of yourself like literally and i'm not talking like it has to be like super showy or anything like guys are the easiest human beings on this planet literally two days ago i posted a photo a video if you guys have me on instagram you know with me and my cat you couldn't even see my whole head that got like one of the most reactions i've ever gotten in my life i don't know how but it did like it's literally <laughs> the easiest thing i was like i can't even it's like it's not even a good thing like like you said like me or anyone saying oh i can get any guy or i could do like it's not even a flex because men are genuinely so easy they literally i had a friend who would always say that she'd be like oh i don't know how to put myself out there but she had like her um social media to be all females which is really really good like if you're someone like that 
it might be difficult so i think you just have to i think it's yeah it just starts with social media like if you have people on your social media to work out if you don't then r.i.p um in terms of like in person i'm trying to think of like where you'd meet have i met a guy in person and hit it off not really like actually no like sometimes you'll see a guy in real life and you'll talk to them but then like they'll add you on social media so it could be like that too but like i don't know like you know in the movies where like you always see someone out and then like you start hanging out that's never happened to me like i'm wondering if that happens to you like where you just meet someone and then you just know no but i don't even want to keep talking about that because it's so relevant but yeah i don't even know what to wear like guys if you know me you know that i have a dress high business and me figuring out what i want to wear is literally the hardest thing ever like i haven't worn 90 percent of my dresses like literally i have not worn them but i get so much but a guy dming you is so lame you reckon look honestly i used to think like that too like for the longest time ever i would never ever respond to dms because i'm like it's the wrong kind of attention but it wouldn't have to see where it leads. Like, honestly, some guys I've actually met on Instagram were...